Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Stu, and this is entry number nine of the Tenacious Tenements Comp. Patricia. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, we're going to put it on pause and we're going to try it like this. So I have tried disabling um, a lot of the guests or deleting a lot of the guests and loading it back up and it didn't work. So I think what I'm going to do in order to showcase the park, um, I've, I've got two choices really um, if I'm going to do it on tablet and that's to either do screenshots and talk over them or just press pause and hope for the best. So I think we're just going to hit pause and we can then go through the park clicking on things uh, rotating things but we can't press play otherwise it will crash so i'm sorry but it's either that or i i don't know what else what else i can do okay so we've got tenacious tenements wow over a million park value we've completed the park july year 11 so spent quite a bit of time on it tons of cash being earned every month um let's have a look just wondering if maybe going through these maybe i'll see something that is causing the conflicts i don't know um Wow, that's a lot of entertainers. A lot of entertainers. I think if you've got this many staff, you might as well hire one security guard because that means you will have all four types and you'll be eligible for um, the park with the best staff award. Okay, so we come in, we've got a nice little area here with the kiosks, cash point, toilets, food and drink. Uh, and then we're into straight into like a pirate themed. What is it? What is it? Water coaster. Number 10, sinking ship. Six excitement, dead on. Cool. Uh, so we got like a wooden bit underneath the left hill ground. And then nice water section there as well. Um, Looks like a vertical drop. Yes, vertical drop coaster. I think we're, we're, we seem to be going in reverse order. Nice excitement on that space themed or sort of Martian themed. Um, lots of shops around the outside. Loads of toilets and kiosks and, and shops. Wow, that probably explains some of the money being made, is it? Yeah, over a thousand on shop sales, over two thousand on food and drink sales. About when it rains, it rockets up as well. Two, three thousand there. Loads of shops and flowers all around the outside. All the way around. Yeah, I did. So I did delete all of the guests. Um, I, you know, I, I ran on fast forward for a little bit to get a few hundred guests in the park and then I saved it, tried to export that and it just crashed as well. So um, I've tried on the tablet, I tried switching all the rides off. Um, so I, I did notice there was, there is a ride with, um, with some funky settings on, which we'll get to. Uh, we've got a wooden coaster here, Crooked Coliseum. It's hard to see it because of that big building there. It's pretty funky. And then we've got the Giga Coaster just here. Let's check out the stats on the wooden coaster. 6.78. Rainbow Rider, Giga Coaster. Nice stats on that. And yet, yeah. rainbows seem to be everywhere at the moment. Symbols for everything. Um, health workers and all kinds of things and then we've got twisted trebuchet looping coaster and this sort of castle theme with like a village on the inside that's pretty cool and then 
we've got a corkscrew with two stations Jurassic Jungle uh, I know what you've done it's something I do as well so looking at it you've got the the, the station nearest to us is the entrance station and then um, there's, a, there's a missing track there maybe that's why there's uh, boosters um, that are missing so I don't think I've mentioned this but in the write-up um, Jerome did say he's used OpenRCT2 on this so that probably is what's causing the conflict so there is, is some boosters missing uh, maybe that's it I don't know but um, yeah so You've got the entrance station here. The coaster does its ride and comes back to the exit station. And then the exit station then connects round. So you leave that and then the exit station comes round back to the entrance station. And what that does is it means you can then click the synchronize, which gives you a nice boost of excitement. So that's a nice way of getting yourself over the excitement target if you need it. Um, Well, we, whoa, hang on. We've got, yeah, 7B, 7A, 7.03, and 7.6.8. Oh, so we've got two Virginia reels by here. I like that. That's pretty cool. Cramming them both in as well, crossing over. It is a shame we can't watch this running because um, they do look like they'd cross over nicely with each other. Put them side by side so we can see the comparison. Um, the times aren't far out as well. And then this one I did whilst I was watching, uh, whilst I was trying it on PC, I did, I did notice that this coaster has got some funky settings. So this is an inverted roller coaster, but it's been set to have a launch mode. So it might be this is what's causing it to crash um so there's two of them side by side yin and yang so it, it launches out and then it goes into like an emelman in background in a, a dive loop i'm just wondering it might be possible to do this exact same layout without a launch mode perhaps i mean i can't change it on on this i'd have to go into the settings and and do that and that's clearly not within really the spirit of of the contest i shouldn't really be altering stuff i don't think um i think you might be able to get away with doing a layout like this um just by using um a number of circuits so what would happen is it would go back and forth eventually it would build up enough speed that it either goes through the circuit or it goes up high enough that it registers as an inversion and then it will give you some nice stats and in the middle then we've got ice mice a nice uh wooden wild mouse there loads of ice blocks Let's turn off scenery so we can get a good look at the at the design No drops and things like that there. Cool. And then I think the last one is not Ronnie. The last one, Horror Hospital. Okay. So it's like a so it's a hospital theme right then. And it is let's have a, hang on. Oh, we've got some fake track as well. We've got some fake track for for just for show, and there seems to what's happening here. There seems to be some track missing as well. So perhaps let's have a look. This is a flawless coaster. So what's that there? Then maybe there's something. Maybe a different type of track piece that has been brought in because on OpenRCT two you can 
you can substitute track pieces from other other rides and you can do all kinds of crazy stuff but obviously with classic sometimes it just doesn't like that but it, it's pretty cool um yeah so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to have a quick look in depth see if there's anything anything hidden that i haven't noticed already and then i'll report back So I've had a good look around the park and earlier when I spotted the fake track on this one, um, I shouldn't really say fake track, um, display track, we'll call it that. Um, I also noticed some other bits that weren't connected. Now I thought that what it was, was a, maybe an element that's been used that didn't show up, but it isn't. It's just, it's more display track. So if I color the, the non ride track, red and then switch scenery off so you can see the red track is the display track and the white track is the track that's actually used on the coaster so that's a, a cool little trick to um to boost how it looks um and then what else did i notice where is it the water coaster i found you okay so now i must say i did sp i spotted this because i looked in the rides and i saw a ride called sink hmm so that is this one here so this is the water coaster and then next to it then there's a one station one tile station just there that sole purpose is to be able to enable the sink box to enable the sink boost on the water coaster in order to get the six excitement which i can't uh, i can't fault that that's um um that's uh definitely uh props for um for ingenuity um yeah so you gotta do what you gotta do um i think that was all I spotted from the little little tricks and things like that. Um, it's hard. Sometimes you, you see things and you're not really sure if that's just the fact that that's just the way the game is like on this. There's a lot of people just want there, but I think they might just be walking down the station, station platform. I'm not sure. I don't think they're stuck. They don't look angry at all. Um, other than that, I mean, it is a real shame that we can't have it. Um, we can't see it come to life. Because um, it looks like it would be a really nice park to look at. Um, I do like the fact that you've got the twin Virginia reels there. Um, I like the little trick with the, the exit station and the, and the entrance station in order to boost the stats. Um, I like the look of the hospital layout as well. Um, the coasters, they all look cool. I think maybe there's a bit too many shops, but it works, you know. Um, the guests all seem to be happy. The ratings up, up, uh, up on high. They're all loving it. It's just a shame. I can't press play without it crashing. So this would normally be the point when i get ready for the outdraw and i then focus on a number of roller coasters whilst the funky music plays um so we won't be able to do that so i will just focus on the coasters and not talk whilst the music plays if that makes sense so this was entry number nine from jerome briels um unfortunately there were some glitches with the park so i couldn't press play without it crashing um so we've had to just press pause and have a good look around the park as is i'm Stu. if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe there'll be a poll coming up at the end of the video numbers one to five one would be the worst rating five would be the best rating so please vote um accordingly and um i'll see you on the next video bye